what's going on everybody today I'm going to show you guys how you can uh, grab files from the game NBA 2k21 now I've done this just about every year um, for the past several years many people have used the 2k17 Explorer I'm trying to see if I have the 2k17 Explorer yeah many people have used 2k17 Explorer which I have right here on my screen I just dragged it I don't use that anymore I haven't used it in quite a while now last year there was a tool created by Louis called the 2k NBA 2k exporter console and there's a similar tool this year for specifically for 2k21 and I'm gonna pull that up now I'm gonna click run All right so it's very basic it looks like this it works very effectively I'm gonna press one for English and then it says you need to know the game directory all you have to do is in steam if you don't know your game directory just go to 2k21 and again I'll have the link for this specific NBA 2k21 export console this right here I have the link for that in the description all right so um, anyway go to steam right click and go to I think it's browse local files yeah, when you browse local files, this comes up. It'll be the location of your 2K21 folder. So what I'm gonna do is just copy that information, paste it into here. Oops. I don't know if it'll let me paste it. So it won't let me paste it. So let me go back to common and drag the 2K21 folder over here. So now it has the correct location, all right? So press enter. Now you need to have a list of files that you want to get, that you want to take out of the game. So let's say if I wanted to get any of these cyber faces, I have to know the name of the file. Okay. You need to know what files you want to get. If you're, if you don't even know names of files and stuff like that, then you actually shouldn't even be on this video. Um, but if you know the name of the files you want to get, what you need to do is you need to open the manifest in a program like notepad plus plus not notepad because it takes a long time so the manifest is all the way down here this is the manifest it comes with the game it's a list of files that's in the game so when I open this up I already have the manifest actually open in notepad plus plus look at this it's a list of every file um, every every main file because even within these files are smaller files so as long as you know the main file that you want you can grab it um, what you would do is let's say I wanted this file I'll just copy this line I'd copy it to a text file maybe you know um, you can actually create text files with notepad plus plus but I have a text file here it's called extract 2k21.txt you can name it whatever you want but I'm going to show you these are all the files that I want to grab from within the game within 2k21 because I want to take a look at them and I got them from this list so I'm going to close up this list but this these are my list of files I just saved this to my desktop save and it's right here and I'm going to drag that over here because that's my list of files that I want to extract alright so for here press enter now it says give it an export path so where do you want those files to go once it grabs it from the game so I want those I have a folder set up that I call 2k uh, I have a 2k resources folder then I go to 21 I have I basically already have my own folder system set up so I'm gonna start a new folder And these are mostly WNBA floors. So I'm going to drag that folder over here to the tool. And as you can see, when I dragged it over here, put the name of the location, I press in enter. And it should have exported everything. Press any key to continue and it will close the program. All right. So now when we go in this folder, everything is there. Great. Everything is there. Now I can. Um, go into 7-zip I have a program called 7-zip most of the people who use will be using this are familiar with the channel so they'll probably think I'm going too slow in this tutorial and for people who are new 
to uh, NBA 2K on a PC, they'll probably think I'm going too fast in this tutorial. They'll be like, hey, what is 7-zip? What is this? What is that? But a lot of times people tell me I'm going way too slow in these tutorials. So, sorry, I'm trying to go at just the right speed, cover everything. All right, so I'm going to take this location up here, copy it over to 7-zip, address bar in 7-zip, and click it. Now, I don't need this. I can minimize this for now. So now what I can do is, since I'm in 7-zip, I can explore the insides of these files. So I can see the inner files. And what I'm looking for here is there's textures. These .dds files are textures. You'll need to have a program associated with .dds on your computer in order to preview them. But I already have that. So let's see. Okay, I can't really preview them with I can't preview them actually with the program that I have so I'm gonna have to open up a version of Photoshop that can preview them because what I want to do is let's see does any well what I want to do is just get a look at these files see what these textures are all right come on All right, it won't let me do it that way. So I dragged it to my desktop, and then open it. Okay. For whatever reason, it doesn't want to open that file. All right. So let me try this one more time. Drag it to my desktop. Drag it to Photoshop. Still won't open. Okay. That's fine. I don't know what the deal is with that. Oh, you know what? It's probably, yeah, this is why. Because this is zero bytes. The size of that file is zero bytes, so it won't open. This is only here because it's referencing. This is only here to tell the game that, hey, uh, I want to use this texture, but this texture is actually in another file because here it says zero bytes, but in another file, it, it'll be uh, the real texture. Okay, so whatever. All right, let's see if I can open this other one then. Okay, and I can load transparency. So at this point, I've already extracted everything I want to extract, and you guys wouldn't need to view the rest of the video, but um, I'm actually just going through these so that I can... Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm actually going through these so that I can know which files to replace. All right, so, all right. But anyway, that's the end of the video. That's how you extract files. Um, see you guys next time.